Hey, hey ladies, this is Angus Fairbairn from Boss Fitness. I'm really excited to be sharing with you today in this video, um, the big topic that is a flat stomach, finally. So, um, I speak to so many women on a daily basis and I find that one of the most common goals amongst them all is that they want a flat stomach, or better yet, they actually want abs. In other words, a midsection that they can have confidence with and flaunt, basically in any situation, have kick-ass confidence to be able to actually show it off. But the bummer here is that nine out of 10 women don't actually have that. It's part of their vision, it's what they want, but they just don't know how to actually get there. So the bummer here is that I'm seeing them do things like endless crunches, um, you know, hammering all sorts, just putting in so much effort, so much time, so much hustle, but many will still have that stubborn fat that remains. So in this video, what I wanna share with you is my three key uh, tips, if you will, that you can be implementing right away. And um, you know, if you hustle with these and you absolutely nail them, I promise you that you're gonna see some awesome changes as long as you stay consistent with it, okay? So let's get into it. Number one is that nutrition is everything. And what I mean by this is that you can do all the exercise under the sun, but if you haven't actually got your nutrition in line with the actual goal at hand, well then it's gonna mean jack diddly squat and you're not gonna move forward at all. So what do I mean by nutrition in regard to actually building abs? What I mean is that you don't need to necessarily focus on trying to be as clean as you can um, in terms of just only eating nutrient dense stuff and nothing else and just feeling bored and hating upon life, but rather actually being consistent in an area which is known as a calorie deficit. So with this, it basically means just meeting your body head on with how much it needs, um, supply that much daily, be consistent with it, okay? And then naturally what's gonna happen is that your body's actually gonna drop weight in the form of fat tissue from your body. Um, and then from there, naturally obviously based on who you are as a person, your body's gonna shift fat um, from different places until it gets to the point where it's just whew, and it's gonna shred it from your abs, okay? So you've actually got abs already, but obviously they're surrounded by fat. To be able to lose it, number one is that you need to be consistent with nutrition. Number two is to forget these things like cleanses, detox, three day things, whatever, okay? Um, these are very, very popular at the moment. They're absolutely in, in terms of demand. Um, everyone's doing it, um, especially if you've had like a big weekend, you've had a big binge or blowout, bam, getting into this sort of stuff. But understand that really it's just wasting your time from two different perspectives. Number one is that usually when I, when I hear people saying that they're gonna do one of these things is that they'll go, oh, I'm gonna kill this detox, and then, or I'm gonna kill this cleanse, it's gonna be fantastic, and then, yeah. In other words, you're seeing it from a way where you're only gonna do it for a couple of days or a few days, but then the and then will usually refer back was what it was that you were doing before. So in other words, you're gonna gain that weight back. Truth be told, your body actually naturally will detox itself and sort itself out on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis just through how we build as humans. So goodness only knows why so many people are getting on these detoxes and cleanses, um, thinking that it's gonna help them to actually you know, get results. It's just wasting your time, so don't bother with it. And number three is to lose the quick fix mentality, okay? So normally what happens is when people's progress stop, I see them start hammering down a load of subs. Um, I see them getting into all sorts of extremes in terms of cutting out so many food groups and you know demonizing certain foods and all this sort of stuff and this is not good because yes that may be able to get you you know a little bit of results in the short term but think about it can you actually see yourself living like that and you know I guess maintaining a lifestyle around those sort of restrictions into the long run chances are no yeah because let's face it food is great life is good and to be able to try and live in a place where you're eating next to nothing and living on next to nothing in favor of trying to get abs, like it's just not going to be enjoyable. And let's face it, you're going to go back towards what you're doing before, okay? So what we're going to be doing here is be focused on a bigger picture vision, okay? So your vision is that you want to have abs, you want to look amazing, you want to have confidence, whatever. We want to make sure that we have consistency with exercise and nutrition with the stuff that I've already sort of outlaid to you and get rid of that quick fix focus in a way that's going to take a bit of time. In other words, when it comes to successful fat loss, expect to be losing it at a rate of about 200 to 900 grams, okay? And this means that if that starts to slow, um, and your weight you know, might sort of stall. This shows you need to reduce your intake just a bit. But on the other side of things, if you're dropping it far too quick, this is a sign that you might actually be not eating enough, so therefore you need to increase your intake. So there we have it, my three tips for how to finally build a flat stomach. Um, once again, this is something which I absolutely love teaching and coaching women how to actually achieve because it's such a common thing um, where people want to have confidence in that area. They want to also be doing that so they can love themselves next level. Um, but the bummer here is that so many people are going out the wrong way. Um, I've coached many, many people to be able to achieve awesome results. One of these people is Lily Canella. Um, I've actually recently had an amazing uh, interview with her where I highlighted her actual backstory and the stuff that we did that were game changers to help her to be actually able to become the leaner she's ever been while also eating the most that she's ever eaten while not doing any cardio whatsoever. If you'd like to check that out, just check out the link below. Um, and in terms of this video, if you found it valuable, what I'd love for you to do is just to like, 
comment or share what's been most valuable to you and that way we can keep the conversation going and I can really make sure that this is stuff that you're going to be able to action so that you can move forward from where you are now towards where you want to be. Um, but thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Once again, in the words of Boss Fitness, be real, be the boss. Angus out. Take care.